Guess what, people? Today, we are gonna talk about the most important topic for vegan living, vegan deodorant. Because we don't wanna be stanky over here, we wanna smell good, and we wanna stay clean. And yes, it's imperative to have a great, cruelty-free vegan deodorant. Now, it took me a couple years to find ones that really worked, but now I have four favorites that I'm gonna share with you. First up is the vegan deodorant that I've been using for about three, two or three years now. It is called the Healthy Deodorant from La Vanilla Laboratories. They sell this one at Sephora. It's easy to find online, all over the place. Um, it's just a solid deodorant that just goes on really smooth. It doesn't leave a residue, it doesn't stain. Um, it smells really delicious. This is the vanilla grapefruit, but they have other flavors as well. They also sell these in minis, which are really cute and great if you want to take them like to the gym with you or stick them in your purse. But this stuff really works. Get your paws on it. Next up is something that I just tried recently, but it works really well. It's called Death by Lavender by North Coast Organics. And I got this one from Vegan Cuts. They sell it through their site at a discount, I believe. And this is a really lavendery, really yummy smelling, very natural ingredients, and it works really well. The one downside to this is that it's a pretty soft formula, and so sometimes as you're like putting it on, it'll get around the edges and gets a little dirty. Um, so you just have to keep like cleaning it up around there. But it's kind of worth it. Like I just, I love this so much. For my third one, it is Schmidt's deodorant. This is their cedarwood juniper. You guys may have seen this if you follow Vegan Cuts. They sell it on there as well. That's where I got this one. They have a few different flavors. This is a little bit different. You guys may have never seen these before. It is the pot deodorants. Come in a little pot with a little scooper. It's a pretty solid formula and you just scoop up like a pea-sized amount and you put it on your finger and you rub it in under each pit after you've showered and you're nice and clean under there. You can just rub this on like a lotion and it works really well. I have to say I've tried some other ones like uh, Primal Paste, Pit Primal something. They also have that on Vegan Cuts. It did not work for me, but this one, this one does the trick. And then finally, this is the Crystal Rock Deodorant Stick. Let's see. So you take the top off, you put some water on it, you rub it under pits, let it dry, um, and then it's ready for the next use. What I found with these is that they work really well in the beginning, but by the end of the day, they kind of tend to wear off for me. And so it's not the longest lasting, but yeah, these are sold all over at health food stores and have long been known to be a very healthy alternative for deodorants. So those are my four favorites. Something to keep in mind is these are all deodorants. They are not antiperspirant. So deodorant keeps you from stinking and antiperspirant keeps you from sweating. The reason that I don't promote or support antiperspirants is because they're often made with an aluminum compound that actually blocks your sweat ducts. So when your body is naturally trying to eliminate and sweat out toxins or whatever, you're just blocking that in. Um, and especially when you're working out or running or anything like that, it's just really unnatural for our bodies. Um, and the other thing is some people think that it could be tied to breast cancer. And considering one in eight women are gonna get breast cancer at some point in their lifetimes, I am not into risking that. So keep it natural. It's okay if we got a little moist sometimes, as long as we're smelling good, right ladies? All right, that is all I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful. If you guys ever want more information about like vegan beauty products or body care, anything like that, Two blogs that I really recommend and where I get a lot of my information from. One is Vegan Beauty Review by Sunny, and it's just an amazing site with endless resources. So I highly re recommend checking that out. And the other is Logical Harmony, logicalharmony.net by Tashina. It's another great blog. She looks into all these companies confirming that they're cruelty free and that they're vegan and uh, gives lots of great reviews. So definitely check those out. If you wanna see more bite-sized vegan videos, of course you can find them over at veganbreak.com. And I hope you guys will subscribe so that you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. And yeah, that's all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Mwah! What is your favorite vegan deodorant? If you guys have tried some that you really love, 
put them in the comments below. I definitely want to check them out and um, if you head over to my blog I'll compile those ideas so that we have a more comprehensive resource because I know not everything works the same with everyone's body. Everyone's a little bit different so love to hear what your favorites are and yeah okay that's it for real. Bye!